video we're gonna be cooking some kielbasa soup and I have here the kielbasa, tomatoes, potatoes, onion, celery, carrot, and cilantro. You can also add squash or really any kind of vegetable you want. It, just, it lends itself well to any vegetable. First I'll add my kielbasa and I'm just gonna cut them into like half medallions. With clean hands, of course. With half the kielbasa, I'm just gonna cut it in half. And next we're going to move on to our vegetables. I'm starting off with my carrots and we're cutting everything into bite-sized pieces. Next I'm just going to peel my potatoes. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the potatoes into some bite-sized pieces. And a little tip for if you're having, if you have celery that's kind of at the end of its life and it's a little limp, you don't throw it away. It's great in soup. Um, or even making stock with it, it doesn't even though it's not crispy it's there's nothing wrong with it. you can still eat it and that way you don't waste your money and you can even eat the leafy tops they add a bunch of flavor and then chop chop and if you take your your celery and you put it face down it's actually easier to chop than if you were to have it this way it'll roll this way but if you put it down um, with the open with the U side down it, like an upside down U, it actually is easier to cut. And because these are kind of wide, I'm just going to split them. And then just cut. Really, you can use any combination of vegetables that you like. Um, a lot of people want cabbage or spinach or kale, squash. Really, kind of any vegetable will lend itself well to the soup. It's a good use up of um, vegetables in your fridge if you have stuff that's just about to go bad and you want to use it up before you go shopping it again, this is a good way to do that. And it's also versatile. If you're tight on money and you don't want to go shopping, um, but you have vegetables in your fridge, it's, you, know, you can pretty much use whatever you have on hand. Or if you have extras from the garden and you're not sure what to do with them, this is also a good possibility. And next I'm going to um, chop some cilantro. Now, here's another example of using a wilted um, vegetables for soup. This one is still more fresh and lively. I would be more likely to use this for like tacos or something. But because the upper half of this is still pretty, you know, uh, it's good, but it's a little bit wilted, this is perfect for soups. I'm also going to add some zucchini squash but I just peeled it and I'm going to dice it up like everything else. Next, I'm going to, to dice my onions. And a little tip for you, if you are super sensitive to onions like me and they make you cry, cut them last. Okay, I'm also gonna do three cloves of garlic, um, finely chopped. You don't have to like completely mince it, mince it, because it's gonna be boiling for a while. I'm going to smush it a little bit and then I'm going to cut it the long way. Some little slivers. And then I'm going to turn them and dice them the other way. Then because I flattened it before I chopped it, it's not going to roll around my um, roll around my cutting board. See, like this would move a little bit, but I'm chopping it and getting it a little bit flatter. It gives it some purchase onto the cutting board before I slice it. So here I have my stock pot, and first thing we're gonna do is brown the kielbasa medallions. So you can add a little bit of oil to the bottom of the pan. Um, you don't want to do too much, but you want something because this is kind of a lean mean, it's not gonna render very much fat, and we're gonna want some of the oil to um, saute this bowl. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my burner and I'm going to let this get a little bit warm. 
while my kielbasa is being browned and starting to render a little bit, I'm going to um, prep the water that's going to go into the sauce. Normally I would use broth, but I'm out of it, so I'm going to use um, a bouillon in it, and so which requires water. But I'm also going to dissolve a tablespoon of tomato paste into some water to add later. If I can get it open. <laughs> so I'm simply just going to use a uh, roughly a tablespoon. I'm just going to mix it up so that it dissolves and mixes better into the two plates. And then I'm simply going to set it aside until we need it later. Okay, now that we have some good colors, um, a good chunk of them, I'm going to go ahead and add my celery, carrot, and onion mixture right into the pot. I'm not going to take the meat out because this is going to render a good amount of moisture right away. And then I'm just going to stir it in. I'm not going to, don't dump the oil that's in there. You're going to want that flavor to help cook the vegetables. But basically, the vegetables should sweat out pretty fairly quickly. Enough that you're not going to burn the pan or the sausage. And see all this brown on the bottom of the pan? You're going to want to work that up. Scrape the bottom of the pan to get that flavor worked up off it. That's all yummy goodness. Just work the bottom of the pan with your spoon. And you're just going to cook these until they're a little bit soft. Make sure you stir it every so often and don't forget to work that bottom of that pan. You'll see they're starting to get starting to get a little bit wet. Okay, once that it's starting to get, you know, it's all getting a little bit soft, then we're going to add the rest of our vegetables, which is our zucchini, our garlic, tomatoes, the leafy tops from the celery, the potatoes, and the um, cilantro. So just add all that right in. to add our um, tomato paste and water mixture just right in there and we're gonna add hot water until you know it reaches about an inch from the top of the pan I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon you can use pork or beef if you'd like or vegetable whatever you prefer I think it's actually better with regular stock but I'm out so bouillon will work just fine then I'm going to add black pepper, and I think I'm going to add, oh, about a half of a teaspoon. And I'm going to stir it up. You don't need to add salt at this point because the kielbasa is already pretty salty and so is the bouillon. So I would wait and give it a taste test later before you decided if you needed to add salt at all. The chances are your palate isn't going to want to add any salt to this. And I'm just going to cover it with a... Um, a slightly askew lid and let it stew it thing. I'm just gonna put it on a medium. Like a low high or medium or like you know a high medium. Uh, I'm gonna let it cook until the vegetables are nice and soft. And there it is, kielbasa and vegetable soup. It is super rich and hearty and wonderful and good and I hope you go out and make it today. And I hope you liked my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any anything that I post, um, whether it's organizing or cooking, please subscribe to all my forums. And well, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.